you was ballin', yeah I get that bag and I double it We got the heat, yeah, we bubbling. I know that target enough Married the game, I'm in love with it Came with that work in the stash Like, baby, I'm up in my bag I can't believe baby's so mad My baby, she lookin' so bad Look, mama, I just wanna ball So I had to give it my all They prayin' on me that I fall But they don't be getting that call They say for the flex, no, it's facts I put that weight on my back I'm counting this money regardless of what you been doing, I'm getting these racks It's the life that we are told I hit the gas on the road I had to do it on my own I take my shot and I reload I live this life while you just talk about it Put my money where my mouth is and I keep it solid Speaking of my name and I just get it out Working in the tent to the whole team is balling I pray when I whip you don't crash Putting that weight on my back And putting my team on a map She hit me and said what's the move It's like we got nothing to lose I swear that I'm telling the truth Hand on the Bible when I'm in a pool Look mama I just wanna ball So I had to give it my all They praying on me that I fall But they don't be getting that call They say for the flex no it's facts I put that weight on my back I'm counting this money with Good morning guys I am so dumb I just realized my camera like a Father. my camera was like zoomed in so much i was wondering this morning why when i was making my smoothie like the angle i just couldn't get right or my coffee makes sense um but welcome to a what i eat in a day um so yeah i had my smoothie obviously like you saw made my coffee still drinking it we don't do our coffee first thing in the morning most important tip ever especially if you're a girl hormones um but yeah what in a day um i think it will be gluten-free dairy-free today except i think i'm gonna use real ranch on my lunch um i'm about to eat i am preheating my oven right now because i'm making gluten-free chicken tenders um literally it's like a mcdonald's snack wrap I don't think they, I think they brought them back, but like, I don't know if they did, I don't know. But I used to love them when I was a kid, but it's like my remake of them. So bomb. I posted them on TikTok before, but I've never made them in a vlog. So that'll be the lunch. Um, and yeah, and then tonight for dinner, I'm going to make these paleo beer battered shrimp tacos. The recipe is from Define Dish. Um, it's a fish taco recipe, which I've made a million times, but I have some shrimp and I was like, wait, that would probably be so good on shrimp. So we're gonna try it with shrimp tonight. They literally taste just like normal beer butter tacos, but you use like Topo Chico or like a carbonated water, soda, whatever you call it, um, instead of beer and then some like healthier flour. Um, so I'll link the recipe and I'll show you later. Um, but they're so good. And I'm gonna make pico, put some avocado, some shredded lettuce. I'm gonna make a chipotle sauce. Um, I'm very excited for that. Um, so, yeah. Um, I will be back when I make it my lunch. Okay, I warmed up my almond flour tortilla from Siete, of course. I put a little bit of pepper jack cheese on the bottom. Obviously, if you're dairy-free, use dairy-free or don't have any. Um, sliced up my chicken strips and I have never done this before, but I got this at Trader Joe's yesterday and I'm wanting to add some like spiciness. So I'm gonna put a little of this. I'm gonna try to spread it out some. I tried it and it's like so bomb. And then we're gonna add some shredded lettuce. I just sliced up some romaine. Then, if you want the real deal, I get this at HB. This ranch is so good. It tastes like restaurant, like homemade vibes. Um, sometimes I add pickled jalapenos. But since I added that Zoog sauce, I'm not going to, and I'm gonna see how it is. There's never too much ranch. 
I'm gonna start with one and then I have another chicken strip that I'm gonna eat. I already started eating. And yeah, um, let me show you the dairy-free ranch that I like. Tessa Mays is so good. This is a new one. They just repackaged it and now they have like a squirt top, which is clutch. So if you're dairy free, 10 out of 10 recommend. Hello guys. I just got back from a walk and I am like sweating. I had to put on some comfy shorts. I had leggings on, but I literally was dying. Um, it's not that hot outside, but it was a little humid. Um, and I walked for like 40 minutes. The weather cleared up enough. It was actually kind of pretty um, towards the end of my walk, like sunset and shit. But I'm starving, so let's get this shit going. Paleo battered, beer battered, fish, shrimp, tacos. Um, about to, well, okay, so I got frozen peeled and deviant shrimp. I just have these in my freezer. I always have shrimp in my freezer, um, especially peeled and deveined. So, so clutch. But I'm going to defrost them. That's the good thing about shrimp, is they defrost so fast. I'm gonna defrost them while I like prep everything. So, I'm just going to put them in this strainer. The rest of them. Um, and I'm gonna run some cold water on them. Just for a couple, like a minute. And then I will it has to be cold though. You cannot use warm water or hot water, especially. It will start to cook the shrimp and burn them. So, um, yeah. And then we'll just let them sit and then I'll do more water if I need to. Okay, so we're going to make pineapple pico. It's so good. It's like fish or shrimp tacos, seafood. Um, it just adds like extra. Okay, we're turning it off for now. Extra freshness and sweetness. I have these cherry tomatoes, so I'm gonna use these. I love a good cherry tomato, especially in Pico. Some freshly cut pineapple. The H-E-B cut, not me, because I don't cut pineapple. Red onion, it's my favorite in Pico. Jalapeno and lime, and then I also have avocado for the taco. Oh, also, I don't have any cilantro. Thank God I just added some in my garden, so we'll get a little bit from there after I chop all this shit up. Also, I have that veggie chopper that I love and I use it in a lot of my vlogs, but um, I'm not gonna use it today because I'm doing cherry tomatoes. I don't really like to chop them like that and pineapple doesn't really chop well in there. So we're just not gonna get it dirty. We're using the good old fashioned knife. can't get out of bed when I hear you in the kitchen cause you you have more to say about all your thoughts and worries surrounding my condition. I can't understand it. I know that it's hard to be happy in my presence. You, you won't let it go. And I think I'm getting more indecisive by the second. You think I should talk to somebody. Okay, we got our pico made. Now I'm going to make the sauce. I normally do chipotle, but I got these at Trader Joe's. They're so bomb. These fermented flavor and yeah, flavor and chili peppers. So good, super spicy. But we're gonna do this, and I normally just do mayo and lime and honey. I don't know if I'm going to do like lime and honey with it. I might taste it. I gotta see the vibes first. Um, but I don't have much mayo and I meant to get it. I went to HB earlier for dog food and stuff. I meant to get it. So I have some sour cream, so we're just gonna use that. Um, you can use dairy-free sour cream also, which I also would normally do, but I'm out, so that's what we're using. Got our toppings prepped, except I'll have to cut the lettuce, but I'm not gonna do it quite yet, um, cause I want it to be cold. But I meant to do this earlier and then I got distracted. It's time for our beverage. 
this has been my recent obsession the last couple months. Strawberry vanilla is so bomb. Um, I actually tried the ginger and lemon um, last night for the first time and I was pleasantly surprised. It was really good. So, cheers. Now let's make our beer batter. Okay, I forgot to say, once your shrimp are thawed, like put them on paper towel and like make sure they aren't like wet. Um, so the batter, I don't know, sticks better. I'm in the distance Back on my own just to think for myself But then people assume that I'm distant Back in my hometown to see people really Now that only means business Like how could you ever leave me? I would never do that Well you made this commitment But you gotta do what's gonna make you happy Even if there is a detachment Life is slowly, surely moving faster Put me through the fire instead of through the casket Look around, tell me what you see This thing is real from the make-believe Dust on the way in and out as I pray To the clouds for a place is free Walking together, no matter the weather, we rise up for better, yeah. We walking together, no matter the weather, we rise up for better, yeah. For all of humanity, breaking the vanity, pick and choose if you can fit the shoes. Pack it up and never backtrack, become an abstract yeah. before the last oh, laugh. Yeah. Before they take it far, for they take your justice and they break the law For they make the sons and they create a storm They state the public in a different form My fate, open gates into a whole new place. Feed your soul the vehicle that lies within the hope that you can find it then. We walk in okay, the those shrimp tacos no were fire. Literally so good. Um, I ate them like so fast. I was like, okay, bitch, slow down. Um, just cleaned my kitchen. And um, one of my biggest tips, especially if you're like new or like trying to get into the kitchen and cooking for yourself. Um, especially with like the new year, I feel like a lot of people are trying to do that, is to like clean as you go as much as you can. It's a little harder whenever I'm vlogging, but I manage to clean up while I have the time. Also like for something like that, like pico and the sauce, like I could have prepped that like during the day, which I do that a lot, <clears throat> or I'll do it a lot like right before I go on my walk, I'll like prep everything. And then when I get back, it's just like quick to throw together. It's not as much mess, it's not stressful. Um, or <clears throat> you can even get pre-made pico, guac, like whatever. Um, just whatever works for you and your stress levels. Um, but that was so good and I love, like I've been really focusing on what makes me feel a good full and what makes me feel like uncomfortable, bloated, like my body is just not having the best time digesting it. Um, and that is one of those meals that just makes me feel like a good full, satisfied. Um, but now that my kitchen's clean, I'm about to just chill. Um, hold on, let me let Riley out. Um, I'm going to chill. And also today, I didn't really have many snacks. Um, I'm like about to start my period. So like two days ago, I was like, craving everything and like whatever. It's super weird. I feel like a week before my period, I like get super like cravy and like wanna eat junk food. And I DoorDash burger joint and it was so good. And then that like satisfied like my craving. I like have learned that if, obviously you can't do that like every single day, but whenever you have like that serious craving, just let yourself enjoy it and then move on because if you don't and you like try to just like go 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 like eventually you're gonna cave and then it's gonna turn into like a splurge and then it's just gonna turn into a whole weekend affair like whatever at least that's how it is for me that's how i figured it out 
So little treats here and there and then I would say like a good 80-20, 85-15, 90-10 depending on the week. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. That's some of my like favorite breakfast, lunch, and dinner today. So I feel like it was a good one, hopefully. Um, and it works for gluten-free dairy for people and non-gluten-free dairy for people. Um, yeah, but this is not gluten-free dairy free. I went to Trader Joe's yesterday and I got these. They were like in the checkout line. Cocoa wafers with chocolate cream and a hint of hazelnut. And they're so good. They're like these little bite-sized mini wafers. And they like have the cocoa cream and hazelnut filling. They're so good. Um, I did eat a few of these during the day. Mm, so good. But I'm gonna have a few of these. Girl. Um, I love having like <clears throat> those aren't that healthy. Um, but like typically I have like I have dark chocolate almonds in my fridge. I got the dark chocolate peanut butter cups from Trader Joe's and I put them in my fridge and like they're pretty rich. Like one of them is like enough. Um, but I also am just kind of weird with chocolate. Like I like it, but I don't really love it and everything or like too much of it. I don't know. Um, but give yourself a little sweet treat at night. And yeah, later I'm going to make a tea. Sorry for Riley's loud ass paws on the wood floors. Um, the only other thing I'm gonna do is make a tea right before I get in bed. And that will conclude my day of eating. Um, hope you enjoyed. I have some other ones up. If you're gluten-free dairy free, I have other specific ones up and people seem to be liking them, so go check it out. Um, and thank you for watching. Let me know what else you want to see and I'll see you next time. Bye.